Hi, I'm Chris Martirano here with our good friends at Kraft Music, and I'm here to show you Kurzweil's latest flagship. This flagship is based on a, a long history of leading edge products from Kurzweil and based on the vast architecture that has now been expanded to be called now Extended Vast. The PC3K comes in an 88 note hammer weighted action. What makes the PC3K different than the PC3X or the PC3 series is that we have now allowed the user to bring library that maybe have created over since the year 1992 or 93. All of this library for the K2000, 2500, 2600, they can now bring that library into the new architecture. This is giving a lot of our users who have bought Kurzweil in the past a lot of confidence to move forward to the next generation Kurzweil. The new Kurzweil PC3K features 128-note polyphony. The older models uh, topped out at 48 voice, so you have a lot more polyphony. It features two and a half times the effects processing horsepower found in their old flagship, the K2600. A lot more effects processing. And Extended Vast now allows the user to wire up algorithms in any manner they like. You still have 32 layers per program, meaning 32 different samples or multi-samples of different sounds can be layered up, or you can use combinations of samples, DSP-generated waveforms, DSP processes, and you can have any layer feed any other layer and create very complex DSP chains. So if you're somebody who likes to tweak, this is the closest thing you're going to come to a soft synth in a hardware instrument. If you're somebody who just wants sounds that play very musical, that architecture is what allows these sounds to be extremely musical. We'll get right into listening to the sounds in a minute. I just want to cover a few more specifications. In the setup mode, in the older models, in the K2600, 2500, you had eight zones. You now have doubled that. There's 16 zones in the setup mode. You still have the full featured sequencer. Now they've added 16 arpeggiators. Each arpeggiator has a myriad of play orders. I think there's nine. There's at least uh, 30 patterns they give you to start from that are velocity oriented. And the user can make their own velocity patterns, which are awesome. You have up to 48 steps that the user can set. So you can get some really great rhythmic things happening. They added another slider. So now you have nine sliders. So when you're using KB3 mode, the drawbar organ mode, you now have nine sliders. So the instrument has really come very far forward. They added USB. You can now hook up to your computer as a host, download new OSs, bring your samples into the new architecture. They also added USB so you can use a thumb drive directly for storage and retrieval of your sounds and your samples. The memory in the instrument is battery-backed flash. So now when you turn the instrument off, you don't lose your user samples like you did in the old architecture. So the PC3K, very powerful, very new, and looking forward. Let's listen to some of the sounds. So Kurzweil's been famous for years and years for very, very acoustic, authentic acoustic grand piano. Let's start by listening to some of the acoustic sounds and then move into some of the electronic sounds that Kurzweil's not so well known for. I think you'll find that they've done a really great job of bringing the instrument and the sound palette together into the future to give you a lot more of the new future hip sounds. There's 1,024 programs that come from the factory. And in the setups, there's, there's a lot of setups as well with the multi-layers and the multi-samples. You're going to hear a lot of cool stuff with the arpeggiators. So we'll start with the grand piano.
Those 128 voices are all world class, but they have the great channel stealing algorithm where you can play as many notes as you want and you really never hear any notes leaving. I'm going to move on to the string category and we'll hear some of the old favorites. Here's a new string section. This was all recorded and processed and there are many different string articulations represented. I'm going to play something else. Okay. Oh, that wasn't really what I wanted. Of course, there's a wide assortment here, as you would expect. There's all the electric pianos represented, organs, guitars, basses, brass, all of the families. I'm going to jump a little bit more into what makes this instrument so special. First off, for the user to experience the instrument, it's very simple. They can select any sound from a sound category, and by pressing the play button, they can hear a demonstration automatically, whether they play or not. I'll just press play. <laughs> Actually, with this road sound, I like playing a lot more jazzy music. I'll play a little something and let you hear other flavors you can get out of the same sound. Let's just look at some of the great features on the product and we'll dig in a little bit and see what makes the Kurzweil so special. First off, for a user who wants to experience the instrument sounds, it's very simple. I'm just going to pick a sound category and a sound and press play and I'll hear an automatic demo. There's an automatic demo for every sound in the instrument. Right now I've selected an electric piano and I'm just going to press the play button. Kurzweil put a lot of thought into giving you these little demonstrations so you can hear the sounds and experience them. Let's take a look at setup mode where the real power comes together. You can use these programs, up to 16 of them, in any arrangement, splits, layers. You can use them in tandem with their 16 arpeggiators and with the sequencer. So a zone can call up a sequence, a zone can call up an arpeggiator, 
a, a zone can call up any sounds that you want to split across and you can get into some really cool performances. Let's just look at a few of those cool performances and you'll get an idea of the power of the instrument. You may have noticed that I'm using the optional ribbon controller. The ribbon controller is such a great tool. It can be used as one long control surface or split into three separate sections, each section sending its own MIDI control information. Right now, I have it patched into doing some patch things, but it can actually play notes as well. It's really cool. I'll show you an example. The user can route any of these physical controls to control the arpeggiator, changing things like arpeggiator pattern, or direction, or changing duration. I'm going to show you one right now that's just a piano game, I call it, where pressure is going to change the direction and change it from an octave oscillating back and forth to a chromatic scale occurring. See, I'm changing direction from pressure. You can apply this to drum patterns, to percussion. I'm just giving you an example to see that any control, even pressure, can be modifying in real time the arpeggiator. Now I'm going to use some of the controls to modify other parameters in the arpeggiator, such as duration. Here's another example of mixing some arpeggiation. This is all done with arpeggiators. There are no uh, sequences being used. With other sounds and a performance application. I'm going to play a groove to start. Just between kick and snare, lock it with a pedal. Then I'm going to add a percussion groove on top, lock it again also with a switch, and then play on top of that. Okay, let's listen to some of the samples that we've ported over. Kurzweil had some really great CD-ROMs available for the K2600 and 2500 series. Take Six was one of the titles. They had a bass called Bass Gallery CD with Marcus Miller on it. Bashiri Johnson's Up From The Curb. 
They had Synthscapes that was done by Jordan Rudis, and actually the performances were done by Jason Miles and edited by Jordan Rudis. Uh, lots of other titles, but we'll just hear a few now. Some of my favorites were Take Six. They did some incredible vocal loops that are percussion loops that to this day are amazing. I'll just play a few of them for you and a few of the Take Six vocal sounds. So let's talk about live performance a little bit. You've seen the controllers used. You've seen the interaction in the setups. You've seen the great programs. You've seen how you can use all the physical controls. But now you're in a live situation, and you've built all these cool programs and these cool setups. How do you get to them quickly in a job? Well, Kurzweil has an answer. They call it the Quick Access Bank. This is a mode that you press a button, and you can have 10 entries in an alternate list and you can make many different quick access banks that you step through with the push of a button. So the 10 entries that you're looking at in your quick access bank, they mirror the alphanumeric keypad exactly. So you can quickly step through your programs or your setups in any order that you choose to make them. Thinking, think of it as an alternative list. So when I'm doing a live gig, I put all of my sounds for the first set and the second set and the third set in my quick access banks so there's no time hunting or looking for the great sounds. I get to them immediately with the touch of a button. And as you know with Kurzweil technology, the sounds don't cut off when you switch between them. The sounds continue to ring. And with all of the great new effects and the more effects DSP horsepower under the hood here, you now have the ability to step through your stuff as smoothly as ever. So the Kurzweil PC3K, the new flagship from Kurzweil, offers you the most power in any instrument on the market today. 